Call this meeting Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this fe the, uh, fe 25th day of February 2020 at 5 p.m. plus. I want to ask uh, Bess Ralph to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to Larry's hat. <laughs> I love it. Lord, we just thank you uh, for all the blessings that you have uh, given us. Lord, we just thank you for uh, that we all have the privilege to live in America. God, we just uh, give you all the glory and the praise for all that you uh, give us, do for us. And Lord, we just ask that you, God, lead us in this meeting today and that everything we do and every decision we make is uh, to your glory. Uh, Lord, we just love you and we just thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, we're not Pledge Allegiance to Larry, are we? Well, I think you said it's <laughs> okay. I pledge, pledge Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That just happens to be a Trump fan. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that just happens to be a Trump fan. That's right. Who won? I didn't know you were waiting on me, Judge. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, uh, you're, we are uh, ready for the minutes of the February the 11th meeting. Y'all have a copy of it? Do you have? Do I have a motion to approve it? So moved. Motion by Larry Cam, second by whom? Sam Small. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussions. Corrections or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Most carried. You got a copy of the bill for claims. My internet's down. Before uh, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, anyone? Make, make a motion. Motion with Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Judge, I have one to add to the late list. I just got it uh, right before we left. And it's to the Donna Rose Company for some record books that comes out of Bess's budget. $617. That is on the court copy. Okay. Uh, this will include that. Judge, my internet's down. Give me just a minute to go over these, would you? Uh, you didn't get a second. Yeah. Four seconds. Larry Moore, two seconds. Yeah. No, that was true. I remember. Chairs or couches, we might just have more people show up to meetings. 
I know how More we feel. Sleep in the <laughs> Any discussion? I'm good, Joe. All in favor say aye. aye. Pose like sign. Who cares? Uh, give me that personnel photo thing. <coughs> Put up the name of Jesse Willis as a custodian at the courthouse, part time, nine dollars and three cents an hour, beginning two twenty six. Uh, and uh, that's just uh, give me a roll call, Miranda. How many hours a week is that? Uh, that is. Uh, it would be it would be less than twenty three. It'd be twenty two or less. Yeah, it's level one, uh, and uh, it'll go to ten oh nine after a favorable review. Small. Yes. Bullock. <coughs> yes. Barnes. This is in the budget, and it is replacing one that was already there. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Cam. Yes. Morky. Yes. Do we have any committee reports? If there aren't any, I will announce that there will be a committee report of the 911 fee committee, uh, uh, and that will be at 5 o'clock Monday at the uh, conference office in my office. Uh, if there's no other committee reports, go to the magistrate's uh, reports. Uh, Sam Small. One thing I got is starting tonight for the next three nights, 231 will be closed at the parkway from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, they expect to be done in three days, but uh, just so everybody knows when they go that way, it's, uh, it's the back road done. So, that's all I have to do. And how, how far in the morning did you say? 80, yeah, 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. 6 a.m., okay. Uh, okay. No, thank you. CC the hospital for Athens. Yeah. Joe. Actually, there was one. It was, it was, we didn't really meet the committee about the uh, wage and the uh, okay. incentive. But that's but okay. Got some Go ahead and rule, report. We got some uh, ruling back on that, but we're still trying to get to that where we can, you know, those incentive. Just follow. Yeah, we'll just be able to follow. Okay. So we're still waiting for a little bit more. <coughs> that way, okay. when that right, it just automatically right. goes we, straight in. We got a comment back from the auditor um, that she also referenced for the county attorney to take a look at it and just take a look at it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I want the admin code committee to meet before the next regular meeting to talk about a job uh, description classification. Uh, so, if you can, just a few minutes before the meeting of the uh, March meeting. March 10th. March 10th. Come in just a few minutes early. Get with Renetta on the admin code committee. And and uh, I don't think so. And send that to her. You'll send what's about to them ahead of time, right, Renetta? March 10th, what time? Uh, say 4.30. The briefing or what this other than it shows that it's, it's a job description with the view. You know, uh, well, if the if the admin code committee uh, changes that, then the wage scale would look at it. But if it's not changed, if the job description is not changed by the admin code, it won't affect the wage scale but that would be where it go next okay uh, Larry uh, just want to echo Jason's uh, sentiments about the Blaine and the hospital board for uh, entertaining us tonight and the good food thanks uh, 
Larry. Just want to update the court. The machine that we're having built to uh, clean the boat ramps off will be done in about two weeks, and it'll be like if they have a water emergency or something, it'll be able to clean the boat ramps off in probably ten minutes. But in two weeks, it should be ready to put in the water. And the truck, I believe, we're going to push that thing, pull and push that thing with, is about uh, uh, ready. Uh, and the reason I said it both ways, it'll go behind the truck till it gets to the ramp, and then it's hooked to the front of the truck to do the actual pushing uh, of the mud off of the boat ramps out into the river. And it'll push it about 25 feet out, so that should be adequate to uh, uh, for the boats to get in. And the fire departments need to, if they need to get in the water, all they have to do is call, you know, like you have a water rescue or something. And... It won't take but just a few minutes to clean it where you can put your boats in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Justin. No, Judge, just take the hospital and everybody's able to come out. Yeah, and I think the I thank the hospital for hosting us too and for giving us uh, the update. We really uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, Blaine, did you have anything for the open meeting you want to say? No, I would like to introduce someone. Okay. Dr. Akers. Uh, ah. We talked about uh, our newest family medicine physician, Nicole Akers, that has joined us in October. <coughs> we're delighted to have her, so be sure you say hi to her. Huh. Appreciate it. Well, uh, and I, I too, like I said, would echo the uh, sentiment of everyone else that we're really proud to be here at the hospital tonight. Hey, Judge? Yes. We also have one of our newest board members that's here. That came. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you for standing up. Yeah. 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 Was she was she hid a while ago, Blaine? I didn't. Oh yeah. Some people just anti-social. You know what I mean? So. Uh, we'll have to work on that. I got your light. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I want to say Corey Elder's here from Congressman Comer's office. Would you like to say anything to us? Um. I would just like to um, share Congressman Comer's uh, commitment to rural hospitals and how important it is and how necessary they are to the communities and for what the fiscal board has done. Just so, so it's really good for the community. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, is, does anyone else have anything for the good of the body? I've got a little something I'd like to say. Okay. Oh, um, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just found out... Uh, after the last court meeting, regular court meeting, that you all are looking at putting a three dollar and eighty cent charge per water meter on all the water meters in the county. Uh, of course, I couldn't talk to you, Judge. Yeah. What I understand, you were supposed to have talked to your magistrates. That, uh, or you told your magistrates that you would be getting with me and the, the mayors. You did. You called me this afternoon at two thirty to uh, tell me what was going to happen. I don't appreciate that. I think we just got a say in what should go on. And I like I told the judge this afternoon, you all are always appointing committees to look at every little thing. Why in the heck didn't you appoint a committee to look at your options here? And I gave him some options this afternoon. And he did a pro he, he told me that he, excuse me, he would not bring it up to vote tonight. We're gonna to meet on it Monday. And I want the public to know you are not gonna catch the crap over this. You throw at three dollar ninety cents, which is about a seventeen percent raise on our water meters. Just the Ohio County, I don't want it percentage to be on the others. That's going to cause every customer we got to come in and kick our doors down. They're not going to think a thing about you all putting it on there. It's a hide behind. You guys are hiding behind. Fee. It's a tax. Whether you want to call it a tax, a fee, whatever you want to call it, it's a tax. And I understand the county needs it. But I made some suggestions to David this afternoon. He's going to consider it, and I appreciate that. But I still don't appreciate being left in the dark on this until two hours before the meeting. Well, we've been looking at uh, ways of trying to balance our budget. Uh, and this, f this fee has always been on the landline phones. And if any of you know, uh, landline phones, the numbers have gone down, down, down. So all we're doing basically is transferring it to the util to another utility, which the uh, uh, KRS that set up the 911 boards allowed uh, 
for that to be done. Uh, and it mentioned that it was uh, public uh, utilities could, that could be put on. Uh, so we, for many years, was looking for the state to try to correct this for us by putting the tax bill somewhere and the state taking care of it and funding our 911s. When we realized that didn't happen, all of our neighboring counties and everybody around has looked for new ways to, uh, to get that off of the landlines and onto a utility that everyone does pay and not uh, just a few that the landlines are on now. Uh, and we've been having to subsidize that thing uh, a lot of money. And so we were looking at to get it fair back like the uh, law intended it to be paid by each uh, uh, resident and, and that, uh, on the utility. Um, and all of our neighboring counties and everyone around have done it on the uh, uh, water bills. However, I did, t I did meet with Walt this afternoon. I'm going to do some research and see if there is an option of using other utilities. And we are going to talk about it in a meeting uh, in the conference room in my office at 5 o'clock Monday. That's where, it, if anyone else have anything. Not, means adjourn. Uh, magistrates, uh, don't forget we're going back to the uh, our office to do a, a short budget review. It's not far enough long, call it a workshop. It's going to be a review.